everyone we officially have 24 hours till my sticker drop and i'm looking at the time right now it's 12:03, and my sticker drop is tomorrow at 12 p.m i have so much to do and i got my starbucks breakfast because it it's go time you guys i got the impossible breakfast sandwich which is really good i prefer this over like the regular sausage Of course, I got my matcha latte with soy milk. And also, my stickers I outsourced came in just in time, literally just in time, enough time for me to take like product pictures and everything. And I ordered about, I think around like $500 of stickers. This is like the most stickers I've ever ordered, but I was like, okay, might as well, because when is the next time anyone is ever gonna get the chance to order my stickers? And I know I keep saying that, but like, I mean guys, the last time I opened my sticker shop was two years ago and I could like whenever I had my last drop I would have never imagined it would have been like that long until my next sticker drop. Ooh! Okay, so I outsourced them from sticker app. Oh, those are so cool. Oh my god, it's just like so nostalgic. Oh, this one is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna eat real quick and then I'm going to open these with you guys and then go over all the designs. We are back and I transferred my matcha latte into this. Wash my hands, everything is good. Time to look at all the stickers. I also pulled up how many of each I ordered. Well, I'm not gonna open these just yet, but these are like my drink trio, which I've always sold in the past. I think people love them, so I'm just bringing them back. They're like, this is inspired by the Korean banana milk so cute and then you have a strawberry milk and a melon milk uh i decided to bring the boba sticker back uh i also have this cake one which is kind of smaller ones i had in the past like this one is one i didn't sell because the cut line is like off on it i don't know why i made it so small i guess i just didn't even like measure so it's kind of tiny i mean it'll still be like super cute on a water bottle it's just a little mini one I'll probably still add these, but I like make them cheaper, like a dollar. And then here's another old design, which is cherries. This one. So can you imagine this on this water bottle? So cute. I have four more. These designs are new that I never got outsourced. So these are just my logo and they're really tiny. I didn't realize they were so tiny. Look how cute. I'll probably give these away as freebies just because like nobody is buying this like tiny sticker that says jelly bean and celine um honestly i just wanted stickers for myself to say jelly bean and celine and i could like tag everything that i own look how cute and he's like a little cowboy frog i don't know if you see that well my stamp designs are like one of my most popular ones so i was like i have to make a stamp with a frog on it um and then also i believe i made the border clear so you could see that the border isn't white it's clear I just wanted it to look more like a stamp. Where should I put this? Should I put it on my water bottle? Okay, I should have probably cleaned this. Oh my goodness, I love the clear border on this. It's so cute. I guess this doesn't really make too much of a difference. It's on a white water bottle. But you can see where this blue is. You don't see the white border on it. Ah, I love that. This one is an old design, um, but I've never printed them before and they're pickles. I don't know if I have any pickle girls out there. I kind of wanted these for myself too, um, just because I am a big pickle fan. Little pickles have faces on them. I gave these away before um, as freebies, but they weren't the weatherproof ma material. So cute. Oh, I love this. I'm so happy right now. So there's that. I'll probably look more in detail of those stickers later because sometimes they have issues with the cut lines. Sometimes they'll be a little bit off. What's next? I have like so much to do. It's actually crazy. And I don't even want to blame like being busy like the last week um, just because every single sticker launch I do, it's like this. Like I wait until the last minute and I procrastinate and I don't like mean to but it just happens that way it's just like who I am I like cannot be early to do anything for some reason something else I did yesterday so I didn't vlog my yesterday I just wanted to like 
get the stickers rolling out. I made new thank you stickers. Look how cute. So these are gonna go outside on um, the envelopes, but I just made a little froggy, so thank you. I started uh, printing and cutting my Market Froggy sticker sheets. Let me show you my progress. My vegetable stamps, my fruit stamps, these are only like about half. I'm trying to do double this amount. And then of course my summer sticker sheets and then my birthday sticker sheets. So we got some thick stacks. And then I just started uh, the Market Froggy sticker sheet. And then last night at like 1 a.m., I'm, I'm crazy, but I, I wanted to print more planner sticker sheets and because those are probably my most popular ones. But since I made the design so long ago, I just wasn't feeling like content with them. Last night, I started designing a new planner sheet. This is what I was working on, super colorful and fun. I was in maximum overdrive yesterday because I was also printing out my vellum paper to wrap my sticker orders so I did a few of those I still have a few more to cut uh so yeah I, I got quite a bit done last night but still have so much more to do Checking back in, it is now 4.12, so it's been about four hours since I, we last saw each other. And um, I finished my planner sheet, so this would officially be like the sixth planner sheet. So I have some like to-do stickers, day off, birthday, hooray. I need to count through my sticker sheets. Um, these have basically doubled. So this is the summer and then the birthday one. Ah, I am like so obsessed with this one. It's so cute. Look at it. Little tiny stickers. They make me so happy. It takes almost like double the time of my like other sticker sheets because this is just like compared to this, this is like nothing. Moment of truth. I will say they are perfect. I love tiny stickers too. They're just so cute. Ah, I'm like so obsessed. I love the colors so much.
I found some bigger little baggies because I'm going to do a little sticker pack with these three guys right here. And I thought I only had these at first. Today's the day. We literally have two hours. I still haven't uploaded the product picture. I know I'm like so behind, but again, everything's gonna work out fine. Uh, I'm currently taking product pictures. I'm just using my digital camera right now. Okay, I gotta charge my battery real quick. Oh my goodness, I, I literally, I, li I literally cannot with myself right now. I'm going to edit the descriptions, and then this will be charged, and then I'll, I only have a few more left, so we'll be fine. I also got a vanilla oat milk latte. So I was kind of just in maximum overdrive. I was taking all the product pictures. I made like a little Instagram post to announce the shop is live. And now we have 10 minutes. So I was really doing everything super last minute. But all the listings are up. All the descriptions are edited. I, uh, I don't even know. I'm like, I feel like really nervous right now. I just am not really happy with my product photos. Like I never have like good product photos. I feel like the stickers look better in person and so do the colors of the stickers. But I, I don't even have time anymore to fix them. Um, it is 12.02. I just made like an Instagram post and I already have a few orders in. Oh, I'm just looking at my email and I'm getting like all the Etsy confirmation. So far we have one, two, three, four, five, six orders. <laughs> I'm feeling nervous because like in the past, like all my sticker jobs have done very well and I'm very grateful for that. But like it's been two years and I feel like I used to make a lot of content about sticker making and I don't as much anymore. So I haven't really been promoting this launch as well as I should have and everything has been like very last minute. Thank you guys. I just want to say thank you in advance to everyone who has been so supportive even if you're not buying sticker orders it's okay um just like watching my videos and everything it gives me so much like motivation i can't i can't this is making me nervous like looking at the orders come in seriously you guys this has been the most stressful drop ever because for some reason etsy like deactivated like three of my sticker sheets and then the new ones like the summer one and then the birthday one so people weren't seeing it in the listings and then once i relisted those i was like we're good guys we're back and then people were dming me telling me that the payment is unavailable and i'm like why is the payment unavailable like what is going on and i don't i don't know what was happening but it's back now i'm like really sorry you guys like I should have like made my own website or something because this is like too much. Etsy, you need to get it together. I think Benny's still in a little bit of pain from his uh, dental surgery. So he's been a little bit clingy and sad and groaning and whimpering and I feel really bad for him. We just hit a hundred orders. And we're back. Um, first official day packing orders. Um, I wasn't able to get two packing orders like day of and day after. 
um, my sticker drop was Saturday and right after the sticker drop I had to drive to Houston because my friend was having a going away party because she was moving for a job and then the next day my cousin was having a housewarming and like this is what I'm saying guys like it's so hard for me to continue to keep my shop open just because these things like these life adult things pop up you know I used to not have these many events to go to but now I'm like I'm 26 so I have like so many baby showers I have baptisms I have housewarmings I have going away parties like all of these things oh and People are getting married so i'm having weddings i'm having like bridal showers and wedding showers or whatever so like so much is just like going on and i don't plan these things to happen they just like pop up and like when i planned this sticker day i planned this day because i was like oh i'm free this weekend i have so much time to like prepare but then like a few weeks later i have like oh, we need these events oh and this morning benny had a vet appointment as well so i hope you guys understand um kind of why i'm not able to have my shop open all the time especially like when i'm in school it's just like no way um but nonetheless i am very excited to start packaging orders i got a smoothie today and i'm first gonna print the address labels because i haven't done that yet so these are my return address i have a virtual mailbox so this is not my actual address i did have a p.o box but I don't know, I it's way cheaper to have a virtual mailbox. I have put a few address labels on envelopes and I type out the address label. When you have a sticker business or like any small business, there's a lot of really uh, repetitive, very tedious little tasks like this. <laughs> but you just got to appreciate every step. I almost forgot, but I bought a stamp that says at Shop Jelly Bean Celine, and uh, I like to stamp every single one of my envelopes. So now I'm that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, and then I'm also going to put the address labels on all of them, or the return address labels. Look what I just found. I found my label printer. This is the one I have. It's the Label Writer 450. It's like the, like one of the smallest ones. I also found my little, uh, what is this? The packaging for, usually for like bigger orders, orders with tracking, I'll put this in there. I don't have the, what's it called? The plug, but I think it's the same one for my silhouette. So I'll just plug that in. I put the address labels on here already but it's way easier if i just print it on here and get the labels through etsy it's just like way faster that way and so i don't have to go buy stamps <sighs> i am just all over the place for this sticker drop it's just it's been so long and um it's a lot to remember and also i woke up with like pain in my neck and shoulder today which 
probably because i have really bad posture and i slept like the wrong way and also like when i'm packaging orders i'm like slouched like this it is same plug and it's on i have like 20 minutes left of my audiobook which i'm kind of sad about so i need to figure out what else to listen to or watch while packaging orders the other end ah, i'm missing i'm missing something oh my god okay it was on the floor <laughs> and i thought this was for some reason i thought this was for the portrait because i packaged it together but it's for the labor printer so i don't have to go to the store it's so exciting okay this this is showing you how unorganized i am put that in and it should be working amazing Here's the label. It's very tiny, but it does work. I have used this for multiple orders before. So now we have all of that figured out. I wanted to show you how I usually package orders with one of these. First, I like to stamp. Look how like satisfying and perfect it looks like on this envelope. Um, and then let me oh, apologize in advance. I am just feeling very like I don't know, not together today. Pink and yellow. One of these. This one is for Janet. Two of these. Two of these. A booba sticker. And then I'm going to give her a clown frog freebie. I'm also going to give her one of these like oopsie, like I accidentally like overcut this one, um, summer sheet. So I'm going to also give this to her as well. Then we wrap the order like usual. Also giving her one of these little Jellybean Celine freebies. I love those. And I feel like doing the flower wax seal and you gotta write her name on the letter put it on the floor then we wait <laughs> take that off oh this one is so pretty we got it and then that is janet's order i put it in here peel that off like so Hi everyone, we're back. This is 45 orders. I still have, after these 45, I still have 86 orders to go. I had like well over 200 
orders um and you can see like so far i'm like halfway through i kind of started at the end of the orders to kind of like switch it up and a lot of these orders are just like individual little sticker orders so i kind of wanted to get through all of those i woke up today feeling kind of like mm, weird like still my neck is still hurting but we will push through to get all these orders done by tomorrow it's just like one of those days where i woke up feeling weird like mentally in my head i'm just feeling like this feeling also kind of ties into like vlogging and recording myself um just because i think as a content creator and just in general because like everyone's on social media nowadays but i feel like i'm constantly looking at myself especially like on a camera and some days i just like hate how i look like to be completely transparent and honest and i feel like because i look at myself way too much especially like recording myself and then editing my videos and i just after like a bit i'm kind of just like um so over looking at myself i don't like looking at myself i don't like the way i look and just like being like completely you know transparent and honest with you guys because i know i'm not the only one with these feelings of course i do compare myself to others but at the same time i'm like comparing myself to myself like and how i look and like sometimes i feel like i just do not know what i look like and yeah so today i'm feeling a little bit weird but that's okay we're gonna get over it i have my matcha today i'm going to start these they're like smaller orders which seem a little less overwhelming to me that's why i kind of just uh wanted to do that especially like right now <laughs> in my mental state <sighs> I did not spell her name right. Oh my goodness, today. Sorry if I do not talk to you too much today. So it's night now and I just wanted a quick little update before I stop packaging orders. So here's all I've completed. Well, not all. And then I also did all of these today. I still have 45 orders to do tomorrow before I drop them off tomorrow as well. So I'll keep you updated, but hopefully tomorrow I am in a better headspace. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.
and we're back and i think this is going to be the last day of this vlog which is exciting because that means i have sent all of these orders to you guys um so i'm very excited about that and to get all these stickers to you but i still have um like i said yesterday i have 44 orders to pack today but i i think i have time and in the previous clips you saw me printing out more stickers or cutting more stickers and then prepping more of my packaging and my envelope so now we're ready to get these 44 orders done and i'm in a much better mood today i've just been like listening to music and jamming out while i get my stuff done um my neck still has slight pain but definitely a lot 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 better than yesterday and the day before so yeah let's get into it First, we shall light the ceremonial candle. Just kidding. Look how gross this looks. Ah, uh, this is like after doing that 44. This is um, like 180 orders. This is what this has come to. So I want to say I have finished packing 200 and I think around like 220 orders. Um, this is like only like a small portion of it. We have all of these too, but I have made a little error. I thought the post office closed at 5 today, but it closes at 3 and it's currently 3.12. So um, I will have to drop these off first thing tomorrow morning so i will see you guys tomorrow morning everything is officially dropped off you guys